Hello, I'm the pro wrestling VTuber dedicated to love and justice, Kit Saberfang, and today I'll be showing you how to upload your custom Wrestling Empire characters to the Steam Workshop. From beginning to end, it's about a 10 step process, but I believe in you, so let's get down to it. The first step is to install WECCL from the Steam Workshop. So to do that, we're gonna go into Wrestling Empire, Workshop, and you will always find this at the top of most popular, most subscribed, as it is required for every single piece of custom content that you're gonna load into Wrestling Empire. So make sure that this is subscribed, and if you haven't already, go back to Wrestling Empire, hit play, and choose the modded version. You're gonna to wanna to make sure to run this at least once with WECCL so that it can do all the necessary things it has to do. You'll see it loading the modded content, the vanilla content, and now that you've run this at least once with it installed, it's also gone ahead and it's exported your roster into individual character files, and those will be very important in just a moment. But for now, we're actually done with Wrestling Empire, so let's go ahead and close that. And now we need to download the Wrestling Empire Steam Workshop uploader, and I'll have the URL for that in the description below. I already have it loaded up right here. It'll be a GitHub page, and you can read all about it here. And for now, just to make sure that we're getting the latest version, we're going to go over here to releases. As you can see here, it is the latest and we're going to download the Steam Workshop uploader zip file. And I've downloaded this to my desktop. And so now we're going to unzip this wherever we like by right clicking. I got 7-zip here to extract it to its own folder. And you can have this folder wherever you like. I typically have mine in my documents folder. So now that we have the Steam Workshop uploader that is customized, especially for Wrestling Empire, we're going to go here to Steam Workshop uploader, the application, and we're going to open that up. And when you open it up, you'll find a template here, which will kind of show you the general structure of it all. And to start, we're going to put in our item name, which today will be Hank Hill. <laughs> and we'll create this item. Okay, now that we have our Hank Hill item, we'll start filling this out. So I'll put in Hank Hill, King of the Hill, or a description. Hank Hill from the series, King of the Hill. He sells propane and propane accessories. For tags, I'm gonna put in wrestlers, characters, visibility, public. And for now, this is all we gotta do here. So let's go ahead and close this and that will be saved. As we go into workshop content, you'll see the Hank Hill folder and the Hank Hill workshop folder. And if we double click on this and up open it in Notepad, you'll see that everything that we put in there is already loaded up here. So now the next step that we're gonna take is we're gonna create some file structure and actually go get our character file itself. To set up the structure, let's double click on Hank Hill and let's create a new folder by right clicking, selecting new and folder. And the first one we're gonna create is plugins. We're then gonna open plugins, do this again, right click, new, folder, and capital I, import. And in the import folder, this is where we're gonna put our character file. So now it's time to go find that. And to do that easily, we're gonna go back to Steam, Wrestling Empire, right click, manage, and browse local files. So here are our local files here for Wrestling Empire. So we're gonna go, we're gonna start by going into Beplin EX folder, which is the mod folder. Uh, then we're going to go down into plugins and we're gonna find the folder here that includes all these folders you see here, assets, debug, export, import. And the important one we're looking for is export. So if you double click on this, you'll find the individual character files for your entire Wrestling Empire roster. So since we're creating Hank Hill, I gotta find Hank Hill. So I'll come up here to the search box, just type Hank, and here he is. Here's our character file for Hank Hill. So we're gonna right click, we're gonna copy that, go back to our Steam Workshop uploader folders here, Workshop Content, Hank Hill, Plugins, Import, and we're gonna paste this. And before we move on, we need to update this character file so that we remove all the numbers and the underscore before the name. So now that we have our Hank Hill character file in the Import folder, we're gonna go back up to plugins, to Hank Hill, and we're gonna create a quick manifest file by right-clicking, new, 
and text document. And we're gonna call this manifest. Double click on our manifest file and I'll have this text for you in the item description below. But this is just gonna be some simple uh, credit file here. So mod name, Hank Hill, King of the Hill, author, hit Saber Bay. And you can, you know, obviously put in whatever you like. You should put in your name. Don't put in my name. Do not credit me for your works. All right, we're gonna close that and save to the main folder here, Steam Workshop Uploader. We're gonna go into Hank Hill. And as you'll see, all our, all our information is here, but we are missing our preview image. And so we're gonna go ahead and create that thumbnail. So down here in Photoshop, I already have my Hank Hill image. I'm gonna create my thumbnail really quick. And when we come back, I'm gonna show you how to create your own if you don't have Photoshop. So let's do this real quick. Okay, now that we have our thumbnail complete, we're gonna go ahead and file, export as, uh, and we're gonna make sure that this is a PNG. I believe that there is a one megabyte file limit on these thumbnails, but we're only at 100 KB, so we're all good there. And for now, I'll just export this to the desktop as Hank Hill, so that then I can show you where to place the file. If you do not have Photoshop and you want an easy way to make a thumbnail, uh, I can definitely show you how. So let's go into Wrestling Empire. Okay, let's go find our character here, Hank Hill. Of course, he <laughs> that's a spoiler. That's, <laughs> that's a spoiler. We will be uploading uh, Bobby Hill at some point here. And let's just take a quick screenshot of him. Go ahead and select all this. And now that we have our screenshot here that's already been copied over, you can go over to photopia.com, which of course I'll have a link in the description below. New project, do a width and a height of 256 each, as that is the limit here for these thumbnails. Hit create, control V there, or right click paste, whichever you prefer. And then, yeah, this is just Photoshop in a web browser. So if you're unfamiliar, you can just come down here to uh, edit, transform, scale. You can resize this however you like. If you're interested, you could do some more editing. You can you know, change the colors, do whatever you like. But for now, you just go over here, export as PNG. Make sure the file size is nice and low. And then you would just save it. And there you go. That's your thumbnail. So how do we get this onto our Steam Workshop? Well, let's go back to the uploader. I'm just going to go ahead and just to make this easier, rename that to just one word, Hank Kill. We're going to go to Workshop Content. This is the folder that will have your main mod folder. So for me, it's Hank Hill. I'll see the folder, the workshop file, and I'm going to go ahead and drop that in there. And now when we go into Steam Workshop uh, Uploader, Go to Hank Hill, hankhill.png, and boom, boom, there it is. So let's go ahead and double check some of our work here. So we have Hank Hill, the title, our description, the tags are done here, the visibility is public. And just to make sure, way in here in our import folder, we have our Hank Hill character. So this looks good. Let's go ahead and submit. And there it is. If you saw success item submitted, then everything will have worked just as you intended. Let's go to our workshop here under Wrestling Empire. Go to your files, files you've posted. And there he is. There is Hank Hill. And if you followed all these directions, and if I did my little job here correctly, then your mod and your character will be here and people can subscribe to it and download it and just, you know, have yourself a time. We do have one last step to take, which is kind of just more of a, um, a nice to have here since most people should have this installed already. But just to make sure, we wanna make sure that the dependency is on the WECCL. Uh, the mod loader here. So let's go down here to add or remove required items. And we're going to go to subscribed items, WECCL. We're going to select the plus sign here. And now when people go 
to your page, they will see that they must have WECCL uh, already installed before they just subscribe to your mod. Um, this is just to ensure that someone isn't really excited about your character and just tries to subscribe to it and then load Wrestling Empire and they say to you, why doesn't your character work? Because you have to have the mod loader installed. And there you have it. That's how you upload your custom characters to the Steam Workshop. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you'd like to see more from me, then be sure to like and subscribe. See you later.